Losing the baby weight can be really hard to do. I remember leaving the hospital thinking, why do I still look like I'm pregnant, right? It's horrible, but if you have a good plan, it can make it a whole lot easier. And that's what you'll find in this book, The Baby Fat Diet. Co-author and registered dietitian, Shara Aaron, is here to fill us in on how the baby fat diet works. It's so great to have you back. A lot has changed you. since yeah. you were last here. Child number three on the way? Yes. Congratulations, mm -hmm. that's really you. exciting. So you're not only giving advice, but you're living it. Right. You know exactly what it's like. Right. And you say, and taking off the baby weight, it's, it's so frustrating, it's so difficult, but in your book you say that it, this is the simplest approach. Right. Why? Right. Fill us in, what can we do? How do we do it? Well, I, you have to just know that a mom's world is very different from your pre-mom world. So the book is really about simple changes that moms can make in their everyday life. And it's about looking through the chapters and finding which ones really fit with your personal situation. So we're not telling you to overhaul your whole lifestyle. We're just saying, pick those tips that work for you, things that make sense <clears throat> for your own situation. And, and use those tips and they'll really, you'll see good changes and drastic changes in your weight just by doing small, simple things. All right, you've got some great advice in the book. For starters, don't really eat for two. And I think a lot of women use it as an excuse of, I can, I can eat all the things that I never ate when I wasn't pregnant, candy, cookies, ice cream, but you really shouldn't. Can you indulge a little bit though? You can, and the most important thing that we start off talking about is to set yourself up for taking the baby weight off after pregnancy is to really do the right things during pregnancy, and that's gaining the right amount of weight. And how, much, how many calories should you have a day extra? Just a few hundred extra calories, so we're not talking a lot. There's, um, there is room for indulgences, but we're talking more about healthy foods. Okay, and, and these are 300 calories here. That's right. This is um, a yogurt and a half a sandwich, with, um, a cheese sandwich on a pita. This would be 300 calories. Okay, or? Or this is an oatmeal bar with a banana. That's 300 calories. So that's all we're talking about extra that you need. You okay. don't need to eat for two. That's okay. really the big thing. A couple snacks here and there, a little bit of an indulgence is okay. Okay, portion size. Now that the baby is finally here, you need to eat for one again. Start eating for one and you need to watch your portions. So tell us what you have here and what's okay. Right, so portions are always smaller than we think that they are. And, um, and we're a little bit deceived by how much we get served. So I'm gonna show you, um, for example, a cup of cereal. That's the right portion size. Okay. So you can see when you pour it into the bowl, it only fills about half of this typical bowl. So if you fill it all the way to the top, you're talking about two servings. So maybe for a little while, measure it and then you'll get to know exactly what it looks like so you don't need the cup anymore. Exactly, or okay. you can have more than one portion at one time, but you need to account for it. Later on in the day. Right. Okay, slice of bread, peanut butter, this is how much you're supposed to have? Right, one tablespoon of peanut butter is one serving. Okay, now this doesn't look like a whole lot of pasta. This is half a cup of half pasta. Cup. This is whole wheat pasta, so that's nice. Okay, so that's what it looks like in the bowl. Not a lot, but enough to maybe satisfy your pasta craving. Right, and like I said, you can have more than one portion. You just need to account for it later in the day. Okay, adding food, I would think that you would need to not starve yourself and not fast, but cut way back on calories. But you're saying add certain foods to your diet to lose weight. How does that work? That's what I always tell people to do first, is to think about the foods you want to add. Because once you start adding those foods, you will naturally leave less space in your stomach for those foods that you do need to you know cut back on things with fiber right right fiber and water um, so again fruits and vegetables that um, soups um, broth based soups beans and lentils are what we have here and those are full of fiber full of water and they make you feel full for a longer period of time so once you start adding those foods you will be able to naturally cut back on some of the not so healthy foods. That makes a lot of sense. Next, this is a problem for a lot of moms, the double dinner. You make dinner for your kids, you eat a little of what they're having, then your husband comes home, you make dinner for him. This is a great idea. Tell us what you suggest. Right. Well, this is something I came up with myself because my own situation was that I was feeding my kids at 5 or 6 p.m. and my husband was coming home around 8. And, and it was natural that I would be eating a little bit of my kids' dinner and then eating my full dinner with my husband. And I was just realizing that was way too many calories. Right. So what I ended up doing was what I would typically serve um, for a full dinner um, for my spouse later on, I would divide it onto two plates. So I would have the salad with my kids so I could oh, sit good down idea. and have a meal with them. Okay. And, um, and you know, share with them. Uh, and then later day. on. And then later on I had my starch and my um, protein, uh, fish or chicken.
chicken and some rice or whatever so it was. So you really, you're eating twice, but you're only eating one meal. Exactly. So you want to make sure that whatever it is that it adds up to is equivalent. And one other little trick that I um, found really useful was when you're cooking dinner for your kids, put um, a Tupperware container on your counter ready to go. So kids have small stomachs. They don't usually finish everything. Dump it right into the Tupperware so you're not tempted to eat that chicken finger That's or that meatball. That's my biggest problem. A little bit of macaroni and cheese. No. Right. Um, and finally, just quickly, because we're almost out of time, um, get up and exercise with your kids. It's hard when you have the new baby, but you suggest doing it to their favorite DVD. Exactly. So you can exercise to the wiggles. We have a chapter called that. And it's really about getting up and dancing and finding ways to fit movement into your day. A game that I love is where we take, where I challenge my kids to run around and pick up the toys and, and throw we them make into the basket. Yeah, and we make a race out of it and we all burn, you know, a few extra calories, get our heart rate up and working those things into your day really, really make a difference. Cheryl, thank you so much for coming in. Great advice and good luck to you. Thank you. Can't thank wait for you, you to have the baby. And the Baby Fat Diet is available in bookstores now, so go get yourself a copy and get started. I'm Julie O'Claire. Thanks for watching Parents TV. See you next time.